Upon observing mysterious scratches on her baby, a concerned mother decided to install a camera to unravel the enigma, the footage she witnessed left her in tears, overwhelmed with regret for misplacing her trust, Bo, a cherished one-year-old boy, was the center of his family's world, his mother, Lindsay, worked as a school principal, while his father dedicated himself to caring for the home. Their household was also home to three pets, two dogs and a cat, each adding their own layer of affection towards Bo, the pets were introduced by Bo's father, who was determined to reassure Lindsay of their harmlessness, despite her reservations, he had vouched for their gentle nature, citing their peaceful interactions with other children in the family, however, Lindsay's maternal instincts harbored concerns, especially after Bo's arrival, which coincided with financial difficulties forcing Bo's father to seek employment. The need for a babysitter became paramount, given the geographical distance of Bo's grandparents after a careful selection process, they entrusted Bo to Victoria, a seemingly trustworthy Estonian woman in her middle age, Lindsay meticulously oriented Victoria about the household and laid down safety protocols, including keeping the pets away until one of the parents returned. Initially, Victoria's tenure seemed unproblematic until one day, Lindsay discovered scratches and a bruise on Bo, Victoria's indifferent response and dubious. Explanation did not sit well with Lindsay, who was convinced these injuries were recent despite Victoria's high reputation and positive feedback from previous employers, Lindsay chose to remain cautious, in response to the incident, Lindsay and her husband doubled down on childproofing their home, suspecting perhaps the pets, especially given the predatory nature of their cat and the general perception of Rottweiler's aggression. Nevertheless, Lindsay opted to discreetly install a camera in. Bo's room, seeking incontrovertible proof before making any accusations against Victoria, this decision was born out of a desire for clarity and to protect her son, without prematurely jumping to conclusions about the babysitter's conduct. Determined to uncover the truth, Lindsay raced home the following day, eager to sift through the surveillance footage for any clues, she meticulously reviewed the first hour of recordings. But everything appeared normal at first glance, Bo was comfortably situated in his room, playing in his crib, while Victoria, the babysitter, seemed preoccupied with her phone, barely paying attention to anything else, however, a concerning scene unfolded when Victoria entered Bo's room for the second time since her arrival, with her phone in one hand, mindlessly scrolling through social media, she reached out for Bo with her other hand, Bo instinctively pushed her arm away, which seemed to trigger a sudden change in Victoria's demeanor, with a swift motion, she attempted to pull Bo closer, her long pink nails swiping through the air like talons, failing to grab him, she then put her phone aside and escalated her efforts, roughly trying to drag Bo towards her, watching from behind the screen, Lindsay was aghast, her hands covering her mouth as silent tears streamed down her face, and trusting her son to someone for the very first time had filled her with immense guilt, especially witnessing such alarming behavior, just as Lindsay was. About to lose all hope, an unexpected hero emerged, the family cat, Rooster, leaped into the crib with incredible agility, positioning himself protectively between Victoria and Bo, with fierce determination, Rooster scratched at the babysitter, eventually forcing her to retreat, following this incident, Victoria kept her distance, only occasionally checking on Bo until his father arrived home. Lindsay's eyes then turned to Rooster, who was now quietly observing her from a corner of the study. She realized how wrong she had been to doubt the cat's intentions, especially after instructing Victoria to lock him away, it seemed as though Rooster had intuitively sensed the danger and heroically intervened, grateful for Rooster's actions, Lindsay reported Victoria to Child Protective Services, leading to the revocation of her babysitting license, this meant Victoria was no longer permitted to care for children. In a desperate attempt to salvage her reputation, Victoria contacted Lindsay. Blaming Rooster for the incident, she claimed the cat was the aggressor, posing a threat to Bo, and even threatened legal action against Lindsay, however, her defense crumbled when presented with the undeniable evidence from the surveillance footage, under police interrogation, Victoria confessed her envy of Bo's happy family life, this revelation was chilling, highlighting the crucial importance of the recorded footage, without it, Lindsay might have been swayed by Victoria's deceitful. Narrative, Lindsay had always prided herself on the excellent care she provided for her animals, yet there was a persistent nagging doubt in her mind concerning their safety, this self-doubt made her tasks more challenging, Rooster, 
the family rooster, was particularly standoffish, showing little warmth towards anyone, and this was especially true for Bo, the newest human addition to the family. Upon Bo's arrival, Rooster viewed him with evident suspicion, finding himself in a tumultuous environment with two playful dogs and a curious infant. Despite these initial hurdles, a significant incident involving Victoria served as a turning point, drawing Rooster and Bo closer together. Rooster's valiant actions during this event not only brought them closer but also elevated his status within the household. He was now granted access to the coveted basket area, where he spent a majority of his time, much to the envious puzzlement of the two dogs who could only watch from the floor. Lindsay and her husband failed to recognize the growing tension this caused among their pets, an oversight that would soon prove perilous after employing a new babysitter, whom they thoroughly vetted for trustworthiness, life seemed to settle into a comfortable routine, however, the peace was short-lived, the family's two Rottweilers, long before considered gentle giants who thrived on attention, started showing signs of jealousy towards Rooster, who had seemingly become the favored pet, these dogs, predating Bo and the marriage itself, had never shown aggression before, yet, their recent relegation to a less favored status in the household, coupled with Rooster's ascent in the family's affections, was wearing thin on their patience, one day, their frustration reached a boiling point, Buck, one of the Rottweilers, in a fit of hunger-fueled rage, made a beeline for Bo, who was innocently seated on the couch in what was once considered Buck's spot, the situation escalated quickly. When the babysitter, momentarily stepping away to fetch a cup of tea, missed the initial charge, she turned from the kitchen just in time to see Buck, with bared teeth and a menacing glare, lunging towards Bo. In that heart-stopping moment, Rooster emerged like a guardian angel, leaping to intercept Buck with a well-timed swipe that sent the dog tumbling away, thereby averting a potential disaster. This was the second occasion on which Rooster had come to Bo's rescue, this time saving him. From a potentially dangerous encounter with one of the family dogs, the babysitter, though apologetic, couldn't help but marvel at Rooster's heroic intervention, Lindsay, upon learning of the incident, realized the depth of the bond that had formed between Rooster and Bo, a bond that had once again proven its strength and importance in safeguarding the family's youngest member. In the wake of a concerning incident where the door was left unlocked due to an oversight, the family took immediate action to prevent any future occurrences, they enrolled both of their dogs in professional training programs and made a concerted effort to pay closer attention to their needs. The aim was to ensure that the dogs did not feel neglected or unloved, as the family was committed to maintaining a harmonious atmosphere within their home, this incident marked a turning point, and from then on, there were no further questions regarding the loyalty of Rooster, one of the dogs, he developed an even stronger bond with Bo, the family's child, and made it a point to sleep in Bo's bed every night for years thereafter. This was Rooster's way of standing guard, ready to protect. Bo from any potential harm that might arise, this story is a testament to the incredible bond that can exist between pets and their human families, what are your thoughts on having pets in a household with young children, would you feel comfortable leaving your child alone with two large dogs and a cat, we're eager to hear your opinions and experiences, so please share them with us in the comments section below, after watching this story, what do you think of, then there is an another story, about a pregnant stray cat, Let's expect what will happen, in the heart of frozen Montana, along the banks of a winding creek, a pregnant stray cat, engaged in a desperate search for food, finds herself in a precarious situation, this cat, a survivor, had made the harsh winters of Montana her home, navigating the landscape with the cunning only a feline possesses, her target. The elusive river rats that frequented the opposite bank of the creek, however, the seemingly solid ice betrayed her. Trapping her against a rock, leaving her half-submerged in the freezing water, fighting for her life as the merciless grip of hypothermia began to take hold, in these moments, where every second could mean the difference between life and death, an unexpected hero emerges, setting the stage for a miraculous rescue, nestled at the foot of the majestic Aroca Mountains and perched on the edge of the Yellowstone River lies Livingston, a town that seems as though it was carved out of the wilderness. For the adventurous at heart, with its myriad creeks, hillocks, and the charming nooks and crannies within the town itself, Livingston offers a paradise for any curious cat, yet, the beauty of this idyllic setting is matched by the brutality of its winters, where snow blankets the landscape, 
Winds roar like ferocious beasts, and blizzards transform roads and trails into impassable barriers. It was during one of these formidable winters, at the tail end of January, that Priceless, a cat with a spirit as indomitable as the mountains themselves, ventured too far in pursuit of sustenance having eked out an existence in the alleys of Livingston, Priceless was no stranger to the wilderness that bordered the town, on that fateful Friday afternoon, her quest for food led her to the creek, a place that had often been a reliable hunting ground, yet, the ice that day was a treacherous facade. And in her laser-focused hunt for the river rats across the bank, Priceless found herself in a life. Threatening predicament, the ice, initially solid beneath her paws, suddenly fractured, sending Priceless into a desperate struggle for survival, the icy waters enveloped her, stealing her warmth, blurring her vision, and weakening her resolve, the current, merciless in its flow, dragged her, making every attempt to escape futile, Priceless was on the brink of succumbing to the cold embrace of the creek when Mara Williams, Livingston's renowned animal activist, entered the scene, Mara, known throughout Livingston for her unwavering commitment to the welfare of stray animals, was on her routine patrol, despite the biting cold and the desolation that winter brought to the town, Mara's dedication never wavered, she traversed the outskirts of Livingston, leaving food for the strays and keeping a vigilant eye out for any animal in distress, her journey that day led her to the creek, where the incredible saga of priceless rescue would unfold, a testament to the compassion that binds them. Residents of Livingston and the indomitable will to survive that defines the animal kingdom in the midst of a harsh winter day, she ventured from the creek, embarking on her customary patrol around the town, her mission was clear, to ensure no livestock, be it cows or horses, were ensnared in the bitter cold's grip when she neared the creek, a subtle sound momentarily halted her stride, with a curious tilt of her head, she attuned her ears to the noise, a sequence of meows, or so it seemed, Driven by concern, she quickened her pace toward the source of the distress calls, it was unmistakable, the creature emitting these sounds was in dire straits, its cries a testament to its fragility and desperation, this very scenario underscored her reason for braving the winter's unforgiving chill, the creek, a hub of activity in warmer times where anglers and children congregated, morphed into a perilous zone come winter, its banks, where ice and swift undercurrents conspired, posed a Significant danger, she meticulously scoured the area, the meows now diminishing in strength, heightening the urgency of her quest, it wasn't long before she discovered the cause of the commotion, a cat, sodden and teetering on the brink of unconsciousness, clung precariously to a rock, its nose barely above water encased by ice blocks and pinned against the rock by the relentless current, the feline situation was grave. Instantly assessing the perilous scenario, Mara leaped into action, the Cat's vitality was ebbing away rapidly, and there was no time to lose, she was well prepared, her backpack equipped with emergency supplies that had previously tipped the scales between life and death for countless animals, retrieving two flasks, one filled with hot water and the other with warm milk, she carefully approached the creek, with arms outstretched for balance, she gingerly stepped onto the ice, which protested under her weight but held firm, advancing steadily, she was acutely aware. Of the diminishing cries, a harbinger of the dwindling time, finally reaching the distressed cat, Mara found herself in a precarious position, one foot submerged in the frigid water, the other anchored against the very rock trapping the cat, the ice was the immediate adversary, and with no time to spare, she unscrewed the flask containing hot water, delicately, she poured the liquid over the ice constraining the cat, watching as it began to melt, albeit slowly due to the surrounding cold which threatened to refreeze the water, Mara's actions in that moment were driven by a profound sense of duty and compassion towards the vulnerable animal, her readiness to confront the harsh elements and her quick thinking underscored a deep commitment to the welfare of those unable to voice their suffering, this encounter at the creek was a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the impact of kindness. Even in the face of daunting odds, as soon as Mara was exposed to the biting chill, she couldn't help but shiver uncontrollably, the cold was intensifying by the minute, and the daylight was rapidly diminishing, she was acutely aware that the risk of the cat succumbing to hypothermia was skyrocketing with each fleeting moment, Mara realized the urgent need to extract her leg from the icy water to prevent frostbite, she persisted in utilizing warm water to dissolve the surrounding ice. A task that was both slow and demanding, 
it required an extraordinary level of patience and precision, both of which were dwindling as time ticked away, the ice reluctantly yielded, heightening Mara's worry about the cat's condition, which appeared even more dire than she initially assessed, the cat's uncontrollable shivering and the way its eyes rolled back were distressing signs, despite Mara's growing sense that her rescue efforts might be in vain, she was determined to persevere when the cat weakly meowed at her, signaling a will to survive, then, the weather began to take a turn. For the worse, Mara, who habitually checked the weather forecasts due to the unpredictable nature of her outdoor endeavors, found herself caught off guard, what started as a relatively calm, albeit chilly, evening was quickly transforming into a full-blown snowstorm, snowflakes danced in the air as the wind gained momentum, creating an even more challenging environment for Mara's rescue operation, the diminishing daylight added another layer of urgency, the situation took a dire turn when, just as Mara believed she was about to liberate the cat, a large section of ice broke off and floated downstream, taking the cat. With it, in a desperate attempt to save the cat, Mara lost her balance and her grip on the animal, she frantically searched the dark, icy waters to no avail, standing waist deep in the creek, Mara faced the imminent threat of hypothermia herself, despite the bleak outlook and the storm's fury mocking her efforts, she refused to give up the search, the intense cold penetrated her legs, and with each passing moment, Mara's resolve was put to the test, she feared the worst for the cat but refused. To cease her search, even as the storm intensified around her, the howling wind and the relentless cold were formidable adversaries, yet Mara's determination to find the cat remained unshaken, showcasing her unwavering commitment to the rescue mission. Emerging from the frosty embrace of the creek, Mara found herself battling the numbness that had taken over her legs. With a deep understanding of the creek's intricate pathways, honed through years of exploration, she used her insight to predict the likely path of the current, her search was soon rewarded when she discovered the cat, partially trapped beneath a layer of thin ice, its head bobbing weakly for air, the danger was palpable, if the cat slipped beneath the ice, it would be a fatal end, without hesitation, Mara grabbed a nearby dried branch and waded into the bone-chilling waters, with determination, she began to break the ice surrounding the helpless cat, her efforts were soon successful, and she carefully extricated the cat, from its icy prison, the feline was in a dire state, barely conscious, with its body cold and limp, Mara quickly wrapped the cat in an old towel she had in her backpack, rubbing it vigorously to stimulate circulation and warmth. Holding the cat close to her chest, she made her way back onto the bank, knowing the critical condition of the cat, Mara didn't pause, she tucked the cat beneath her jacket and shirt, sharing her body heat with the shivering animal as she hurried towards her home, upon arrival, she placed the cat in front of a welcoming log fire and rushed to gather blankets to further warm the feline, she meticulously massaged the cat's limbs, encouraging blood flow and warmth, periodically checking its heartbeat, which was gradually strengthening. During her attentive care, Mara discovered a microchip embedded under the cat's skin, indicating it had a family somewhere. A further examination revealed the cat was pregnant, adding a new layer of concern for Mara, the welfare of. The unborn kittens now weighed heavily on her mind, considering the ordeal their mother had endured, determined to do everything possible for the cat and its unborn litter, Mara reached out to a local veterinarian, who was also a friend, she briefly outlined the situation and, without waiting for a response, headed to the vet's clinic with the cat safely bundled in blankets at the clinic, Mara recounted the rescue in detail, emphasizing the need for immediate care for both the mother cat and her kittens, her proactive approach and quick thinking had not only saved the life of the cat but also offered a fighting chance for the unborn kittens, showcasing her deep compassion and commitment to the well-being of animals. Upon discussing the likelihood of the cat being microchipped with the veterinarian, Mara left the professional to proceed with his examination. In a matter of moments, a grin broke across the vet's face, confirming Mara's suspicion, indeed, you're correct, he announced. Revealing that the cat was not only pregnant but there seemed to be movement within, suggesting at least one of the kittens was thriving following this revelation, the vet proceeded to scan for a microchip, unveiling a new chapter in Mara's adventure with the feline, the cat was named Priceless, and the microchip contained vital information including the names and addresses of her owners, as well as her age. She was a four-year-old who belonged to the Barlow family residing in Bozeman, situated 
About 30 minutes away from Livingston, Mara and the vet dedicated time to forging a comprehensive recovery plan for Priceless, taking into account the well-being of the kittens she was expecting, they concurred that any measures taken must prioritize the safety of the unborn kittens. After finalizing the plan, Mara returned home, with Priceless cozily bundled in blankets. Ready to embark on her road to recuperation, Mara had two main objectives, to nurture Priceless back to health and to reunite her with her rightful owners, to ensure Priceless maintained a stable core temperature, Mara prepared a warm bed beside the fire, it was then she reached out to the cat's owners, leading to an emotional exchange when a young girl, overwhelmed with joy, answered the call, the conversation was quickly handed over to her mother, where Mara discovered the family's backstory, they had relocated to Bozeman from Livingston a year prior, and on the moving day, Priceless had leaped from the car, Vanishing without a trace, despite extending their stay in Livingston in hopes of finding her, the family eventually had to move on, making this call the most uplifting news they had received in a year. Mara and Mrs. Barlow arranged for the family to come to Livingston the following afternoon, while Mara focused on stabilizing and comforting Priceless after her harrowing experience. Mara's home transformed into a haven of recovery for Priceless, on Saturday, after ensuring Priceless was comfortable. Mara stepped out for errands, returning just as the Barlow family arrived, eager and emotional about the reunion, Mara learned of the deep bond Kelly and Kirsten, the daughters, shared with Priceless, understanding the depth of their loss and the joy their reunion brought, gently guiding them inside, they were all braced for a heartwarming reunion in front of the fire, however. They were greeted with an even more astonishing sight, Priceless hadn't just been waiting, she had given birth to six kittens while Mara was away, the house filled with cries of delight from the girls, turning an already joyful reunion into an unforgettable celebration of new life, Mara, though anxious about the unexpected turn of events, was relieved to see the healthy kittens, recognizing the miraculous end to priceless ordeal and the beginning of a new chapter for her and her family. Gaining first-hand experience of the challenges priceless had faced, Mara carefully lifted each newborn kitten. Counting to five, all of them were miraculously alive and appeared to be in good health, you've done it, girl, Mara exclaimed, allowing herself a moment of joy with a celebratory dance before turning her attention back to Priceless, emotions overwhelmed her as she stood there, tears streamed down her face as memories of the past day's harrowing rescue mission flooded back, just 24 hours earlier, the situation had seemed dire, a stray cat was trapped in an icy creek, her prospects grim, yet, what? had initially appeared to be a hopeless endeavor had miraculously resulted in the salvation of not just one, but six lives, this, Mara thought to herself, is a testament to the power of never giving up, the Barlow's family, who dearly loved Priceless, were overjoyed to bring her and her new litter back home, they committed to finding loving homes for the kittens in due time and assured Mara they would keep her updated with photos. This remarkable story serves as a poignant reminder of the incredible resilience our pets possess, with sufficient love and support. They are capable of overcoming the most daunting obstacles, have you ever had a pet who defied the odds and made a miraculous recovery, or showed resilience in a way that left everyone amazed, we would love to hear your stories in the comments section after watching this story, what do you think of, then there is an another story about an orange stray cat, let's expect what will happen. In a quaint elementary school nestled in the heart of eastern Turkey, an ordinary math lesson was transformed into a magical encounter on a brisk Monday morning when the third grade students settled into their seats, a scruffy, orange stray cat confidently made its way into the classroom, its tail held high, the room filled with surprised murmurs as the students exchanged looks, and their teacher, Mrs. Hanner, couldn't help but be amused by the unexpected guest, rather than shooing the cat away, she allowed it to explore, thinking it would soon leave on its own, this decision, unbeknownst to her at the time, would spark a remarkable bond between the students and the cat, later named Tombai. Tombai was no ordinary stray, he roamed the school's garden but showed a distinct preference for human companionship, he sought out the students' affection, who were only too happy to pet him, play with him, and even share their snacks, but one day, Tombai took a bold step. He walked into the classroom again during a math lesson and made it clear he had no intention of leaving, Mrs. Panner, understanding the 
unique bond forming between Tombai and her students, decided to embrace his presence, she recognized not only the joy Tombai brought into the classroom but also a valuable teaching opportunity. The third grade class, previously known for their playful distractions and occasional disruptions, began to show remarkable changes with Tombai's regular visits. The presence of the cat had an unexpected calming effect. The students were more focused, less inclined to engage in their usual disruptive antics and were more attentive during lessons, Mrs. Panner noted this positive shift, observing how the usual classroom chaos was replaced with a sense of calm and order whenever Tombai was around, the students' behavior improved significantly, even the most mischievous among them were now more captivated by Tombai's presence than by distractions, leading to a more engaged and attentive learning environment. This heartwarming story of Tombai, the stray cat, and the third grade students illustrates the powerful and sometimes unexpected ways in which animals can influence human behavior and foster a supportive and focused community as the days turned into weeks the bond between Tumi, the cherished classroom cat and the students of mrs pinar's third grade class grew stronger and more profound the children eagerly awaited Tumi's visits their faces lighting up with joy at his arrival in return Tumi seemed to thrive in the vibrant and energetic atmosphere of the classroom bringing a sense of comfort, happiness, and an unexpected dimension of fun to what was usually an ordinary math class, his presence transformed the room into a haven of laughter and learning, creating unforgettable memories for everyone involved however, this harmonious atmosphere faced a sudden challenge when a concerned parent voiced worries about potential allergies among the children, fearing for their health. The parent alerted the school administration to Tumi's regular visits, despite Mrs. Pinar's Heartfelt attempts to advocate for the positive influence Tumi had on her students, the school authorities made the difficult decision to find a new home for Tumi, prioritizing the student's safety, the once vibrant classroom turned somber upon hearing the news of Tumi's imminent departure. The students, who had developed a deep affection for their feline companion, were left bewildered and saddened, unable to understand why their source of joy was being taken away from them, in her search. For a new home for Tumi, Mrs. Pinar first ensured he was well cared for, taking him to a veterinary hospital for vaccinations, the atmosphere was charged with tension, and Tumi, sensing the significant change in his life, appeared noticeably uneasy, this visit underscored the drastic change he was about to undergo, new home was found, but Tumi struggled to adjust to his new environment, he refused to eat and showed signs of depression, clearly missing the familiar surroundings and faces of. The third grade class, meanwhile, the students, unaware of Tumi's difficulties, were dealing with their own emotional turmoil over losing their beloved pet, when word of Tumi's unhappiness reached the class, it cast a shadow over their spirits, further dampening the once joyful atmosphere, in a heartfelt attempt to reconnect with Tumi, the students crafted letters and drawings filled with their emotions and cherished memories, hoping to bridge the distance between them, yet, despite their Efforts, Tumi remained distant, his spirit dimmed by the loss of his classroom family, learning of Tumi's continued distress and his subsequent return to a shelter, Mrs. Pinar felt compelled to act, she couldn't stand to see her students or Tumi suffer any longer. With a sense of deep responsibility towards Tumi, she decided to bring him into her own home, it was no easy task. As Tumi was visibly affected by his experiences, showing little interest in his surroundings and remaining. Withdrawn, however, in the quiet and caring environment of Mrs. Pinar's home, Tumi gradually began to show signs of recovery, although he still longed for the lively atmosphere of the classroom and the affection of the students, he slowly started to eat again, finding some comfort in the familiar presence of Mrs. Pinar. It was a testament to the enduring bond between Tumi and the community that had grown to love him so dearly, highlighting the profound impact pets can have on our lives and the lengths to which we will go to care for them, despite the kindness shown to him, Tommy remained engulfed in a deep depression, his eyes mirroring the profound sorrow of being separated from his cherished companions in the third grade class, witnessing the undeniable bond between the cat and her students, Mrs. Panner realized that it was imperative to devise a strategy to reunite Tommy with his beloved friends, understanding the significant impact Tommy had on the emotional well-being of her. 
students, she set out to persuade the educational administrators of the necessity of Tommy's presence in the classroom, Mrs. Panner's commitment to her students' happiness and Tommy's welfare drove her to explore innovative solutions in an effort to rally support and highlight Tommy's positive influence on her students, Mrs. Panner turned to social media. Sharing the heartwarming tale of the cat's connection with the classroom, the story quickly gained traction, spreading across multiple platforms and capturing the hearts of not only the school's leadership but also the municipality's head of education, the narrative struck a chord with parents who had previously raised concerns regarding potential allergies, leading them to reconsider their stance. The overwhelming public support, magnified by the social media campaign, urged the school authorities to re-evaluate their initial decision. Subsequently, the provincial director of national education initiated a thorough investigation to Assess any health risks Tommy might pose to the students, after careful consideration, it was decreed that Tommy should be reunited with his classmates, much to the delight of the school community, the announcement of Tommy's return sparked joy and anticipation amongst the third graders, eagerly awaiting the return of their beloved feline companion. Prior to his triumphant return, Mrs. Hanner and the students accompanied Tommy to a veterinary clinic for a comprehensive health checkup and necessary vaccinations, demonstrating their dedication to his welfare. This visit was a testament to the student's commitment to ensuring Tommy's well-being and readiness to resume his cherished role within the classroom. With Tommy's return, the classroom atmosphere was transformed. The students enthusiastically embraced their roles as caretakers, learning the importance of kindness and gentleness towards animals. Their collective responsibility for Tommy's care fostered a nurturing environment significantly altering the classroom's dynamics, the presence of their extraordinary feline friend served as a catalyst for instilling a sense of responsibility and compassion among the students, deeply inspired by Tommy's profound impact on her students. Mrs. Panner was moved to initiate an educational program focused on the importance of empathy in animal welfare, further enriching the lives of her students and reinforcing the invaluable lessons learned from their unique classroom companion, the educational book series, which centered around Toomey and his classmates, captivated students nationwide with its thrilling adventures that underscored the importance of friendship, responsibility, and compassion. These stories struck a chord with young readers, sparking an unprecedented zeal for reading and learning across the country. The overwhelming success of the Toomey and his classmates series was evident as it quickly became a favorite among students. With almost every child in school eager to dive into the tales, this series, thanks to Mrs. Pinar's innovative approach, not only significantly boosted the students' reading skills but also imparted vital moral lessons on empathy and understanding, in an inspiring turn of events, Mrs. Pinar chose to leverage the success of the book series for a noble cause, the proceeds from the book sales were generously donated to a local animal shelter, aimed at improving the lives and welfare of animals in need. This act of kindness demonstrated how Toomey's remarkable journey transcended the classroom, Acting as a beacon of positive change within the wider community, Mrs. Pinar's unwavering commitment to her students and the welfare of Toomey, a stray cat who found a home in a third-grade classroom, highlighted that a teacher's role often extends far beyond the conventional duties of imparting knowledge. The unique bond formed between the stray cat and the students served as a powerful testament to the impact of compassion and understanding, proving that even the most unanticipated Connections can lead to extraordinary outcomes in what might seem like ordinary circumstances, this story begs the question, have you ever experienced the transformative influence of animals within an educational setting, we invite you to share your anecdotes about the invaluable lessons, joy, and unexpected insights that our animal companions can introduce into the learning environment.